That's right. It's, it's the triple threat, triple crown championship match. And here is the first competitor in this match. My boy, the Natural Truth TV. Trying to burn down the house. And uh, sip. Hey, if you guys don't know, it was the Natural Truth's birthday not too long ago. And I bought him that shirt. I'll let you make the introduction yourself as to who we're being joined by right now. Well, I, uh, we're going to be joined on the commentary booth by the one and only, my pops, Roberto Wolfgang Apruzzi. That would be Mr. R.W.A. Mr. Bruzzi, it's nice having you here. Thank you. It's good to be here with you guys. Are you ready for a big main event match? Oh yeah, well I'm ready. This is going to be a great match. A good friend to the family, T Phoenix. But I was here to say one thing. I got to say one thing. I think Cipriano, you saw it. Who the hell does Chris Doja think he is? You know, I, I don't know who the hell Chris Doja think he is anymore. Me and him used to be close when he first came in. I tried to take the kid under my wing, show him the ropes, and, and all he took was the negative and none of the positive. And I, I don't know that kid anymore. We used to be tight. He used to come over to the house for dinner. He doesn't even know who I am anymore. That's a big mistake on his part. You don't want to make a person like me angry. And I hate to cut you uh, off, Sip, but here we go again, the influence coming out to the ring. Former Triple Crown champion, Jason Devine. Well, I'll tell you, these guys, uh, they didn't beg me to be their manager. But, uh, yeah, you I, don't know, I don't know, you know, I, Zach, uh, he wants out his head off, man. I think he's got uh, a crazy hair. Well, I understand, you're, you have a, a lot of people lining up at the door to, wow. to, 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 for you to manage. Well, you know what it is, uh, Tippy, how do you know? They knew I brought you up from a kid, the great athlete that you are, that Vincenzo is. You know? I mean, we're like, we're like the new heart family of the RWA. You know, we breed champions, and that's all we do. Right, and so everyone wants to be a champion. They know that whoever has fought on it has been a champion. I'm sorry to cut you off, Mr. Bruzy. T. Phoenix just slapped T.J. Swift, took his glasses and stomped on him. Uh, well, he's, he's not such a Mac anymore without his without his CM glasses. The crybabies of the RWA, as I like to call them, the influence. Jason Devine, who could not come out here by himself, had to have J Zach Alexander, Mike Montana, and TJ Swift come out here. I think we all ought to be quiet now and uh, respect the introduction of our champion. Well, the, the introductions are going to be done in the ring, Pops. So, I mean, we, we can do a little talking right now if we so choose. I know. I'm just... The man who two shows ago upset Jason Devine making a surprise appearance in the throwdown and became the 11th man and also became the Triple Crown Champion that day, the Irish Warrior being accompanied to the ring by Miss Lynn. Miss Lynn's got candy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Miss Lynn better watch out. A strong gust of wind and she may be looking like Marilyn Monroe. And if Miss Lynn comes over here, I'm going to have to grab some candy for myself. Yeah, that better be all you grab for, man. You better wipe a child out. I am a happily married man. Two bigger men are going to team up on 
on Jason to find the start. But, you know, T. Phoenix does have respect for Irish Warriors. But this is for the Triple Crown Championship. Friends get put aside in a match like this. You still have to remember that the other three members of the influence on the outside, you know they're not about getting involved in this match. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your RWA April Raid Man The following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit and is for the RWA Triple Crown Championship! Your referee for this match, senior official Steve Bozier! Introducing first, from North Conway, New Hampshire, the natural truth, T. Peter! His opponent, from Detroit, Michigan, Jason Devine! Jason Devine, not so much. And our opponent, he is the current and reigning RWA Triple Crown Champion, the Irish Warrior! And Miss Lynn even being so nice to come over to the commentary booth to supply us with some dumb dumbs. That's all I know. We already got one beside us here. Pal. I know, you know, you know, what are you going to do? Dumb, dumb, dumb. But there was three of us, so we needed a couple more. <laughs> Ring a bell! And we're on the way right here. Be on the way. T. Phoenix sporting some new ring attire. Looks like I've seen those shorts before somewhere. And that, and is that what you were saying, Seth? There goes Divine. Outside. Now, no, I was just thinking, thinking it up. I was just thinking if you combined the weight of all the suicide kicks. It might equal T Phoenix, you know? <laughs> I might. I mean, I mean, the ace looks like a stick figure. TJ Swift's not so much bigger himself. He thinks he is. No, he thinks he is. He talks a big game. TJ Swift, who I've yet to see wear a shirt. T Phoenix with a headlock takeover on the Irish Warriors. I mean, would it even be smart for Jason Devine to get involved in this match right now? He might as well just stay on the outside, by himself some time, and then you know he's going to take advantage when he least expects it. I think Jason Devine needs to just walk around, pick his spots very smartly. And he seems like he's going to the top. Yes, he did very smartly. And thrown across the ring. A double fall away slam. These two big men locking up a test of strength. I mean, pretty evenly matched. I don't know who I would give the strength advantage to. And it seems like I dub starting to take over. Miss Lynn just body slams Zach Alexander on the outside. And TJ Swift doesn't want any of her. And in the ring, T. Phoenix now able to take control over the Irish Warrior. Knee to the gut. Reversal. Divine able to sweep the leg of T. Phoenix. And that's what I'm talking about, picking his spots.
Out. He's a very sneaky character. Yeah, knee, knee injuries run in the family, apparently. And again, the influence who's not about getting involved in coming here from Divine. Only a two count, though. They'll do any sneaky, underhanded thing they can to help Jaden Divine win the Triple Crown Championship. I'm my voice because this ref. We need a new count to three. Wow. Chief Phoenix is still on the outside out here. In effect, Irish Wario. In the second one, no effect. Big drop kick. That took him down. T Phoenix getting back in the ring. Jason Devine putting the knees to him. Clubbing four on the back. Four on to the beast. Oh, oh, trying to Irish whip the big man, man. That's not as easy as it looks. Jason Devine may pull his back out before he Irish whips it. Big T Phoenix. Reversal from T Phoenix. And a drop kick. Holy shit. T Phoenix just hit Jason Devine with a drop kick. I have never, in all the years I've been with RWA, never seen a drop kick thrown like that by T Phoenix. Fisherman suplex, broken up by Irish Warrior. Irish Warrior, who has to pay very close attention, Mr. Fuzzy, because he does not have to be involved in the pinfall to lose his title. He's trying to look for that quick pin. But T Phoenix interferes. Goes up. T Phoenix making the average story back up to his feet. Pushing him in the corner. Come on. Back elbows to T Phoenix. He, he learned those back elbows from the one and only FMB. FMB of 2KW. So some of our fans. Very well known who he is. Jason Devine pulled the legs of Steve Mosha to stop him from counting. I don't think so. Big elbow to, to the back side of the neck of the Irish Warrior from T. Phoenix. Come on, Jason. Come on. Come on, Nigel. Look like he's going for a suplex. No. No. It's a power struggle. He's going to get the upper hand. Oh. Huge show of strength by the Irish Warrior, suplexing the big team Phoenix. Crowd getting on the case of Jason Devine. Devine raining down elbows on the Irish Warrior. Looks like he was out him right in the mouth. As if he has enough elbows. <laughs> T. Phoenix. T. Phoenix runs to the top rope. The body oh. sees it. Catches him. What's going on over here? Oh my god. No, no, no. Oh no. Oh no. It's a tower of doom. Oh. Oh, oh no. The tower of doom delivered. Jason Devine suplex, superplexing T. Phoenix. And an Irish Warrior could have went for a cover right there. But he said no. Nuh uh, not gonna do it like that. That may have been a mistake by the Irish Warrior. Putting him up for the potato sack, probably. Potato sack. Miss Lynn wants it. There's T. Phoenix. Super kick. Jason Devine getting They're all down. potato sacked anyway. T uh, Irish Warrior getting super kick right into the mush. Crowd trying to get behind T Phoenix. T. Phoenix is the only one up now. T. Phoenix with the 
advantage. The only man to his feet. He's got Jason Levine. Capital T, it looks like he's signaling for. And there's the influence. The influence getting involved. And the Irish warrior makes a sandwich with T Phoenix as the meat. They choke slam. That could be it. One, two, and that's it. Unbelievable, Unbelievable, totally, I agree with you. The influence saved Jason Levine from getting the capital T. He got squished anyway. Team Phoenix getting the choke slam from the Irish Warrior for the one, two, three, and that's it. I mean, Levine definitely got the worst that slash. Oh, yeah. He's behind two of the biggest individuals here in the RWA. That was probably about close to 600 pounds. We got RWA Superstars out here applauding this match. What the hell of a main event here at RWA's April Rain. This was another unbelievable card of professional wrestling put on by the RWA. The crowd was into it. This was a great match to finish off the day. It's just unbelievable the talent they have here. And a great show they put on, and I'm proud to be a part of it. Great show of sportsmanship going on between T. Phoenix and the Irish Warrior. T. Phoenix said, you caught me this time, that you know these two will face each other again. And that will be a great match, the two of them. These two big guys that are both very athletic, as you saw with that great drop kick by T. Phoenix. A big guy like that. The agility he has is unbelievable. Show of appreciation by all our fans here at RWA. A great champion, a great wrestler, and a great person, the Irish Warrior. This has been a phenomenal show here. April Rain has definitely been a classic. Hey, April Rain's been one of our best live shows to date. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to leave you for myself, Cipriano Abruzzi, for Philip Adams, for my pops, Roberto, Wolfgang Abruzzi, joining us here for this main event. Hey. And also for Nick Gifford. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Peace out from the 